So the first question I would like to ask, uh, now yesterday we studied about uh, James Lang theory and the two factor theory, okay? So let me see who can answer this question. Uh, I'll give it to Imara. Okay, this question is for you. So can you just give me a small brief explanation on James Lang theory? Uh, this is a yeah. yeah, sure, sir. This is a theory suggests that emotions are the result of physical changes in the body. Okay. So when we see uh, when we see something emotional changes occur in the body, and these okay. changes make up our emotional experience. So in this theory, it only considers three things. One is uh, the stimulus, okay. and the other one is the physiological reaction, and the last one is the emotional response. All right. Very good. Uh, for an example, a dog barking, so that's a stimulus. So okay. the physiological reaction is increase of heartbeat, sweating or trembling, getting scared or something. So the okay. emotional response is fear or anxiety. Very so good. the theory states our experience of emotion is our awareness of our physiological response to an emotion arousing stimulus. Very good. Only that. Okay, Thank very you, good. Sir. So how about that video yesterday? Was it useful for you all? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, okay, you all were able to understand, right? So the other thing, all right. So the other thing is now, uh, uh, the next question, uh, let's, uh, let's see how Samha is going to answer. The same, what is uh, the same question which I gave to Imara? James Lang theory, can you explain it in your own words? Yes, sir. Yeah, go ahead. James Lang theory argues that emotions are created due to physiological arousal. That means emotions are caused due to bodily feeling. Exactly. Okay. And uh, this and this uh, theory stimulus first okay. a person develop a physiological reaction okay. like increase of heartbeat rates, like palm getting sweaty and rapid breathing like this there will be a physical feeling aroused exactly yes very good very good okay so how about uh, we'll give uh, nazla the chance nazla can you explain me about james lang theory yes sir go ahead Yes, Nazla, go ahead. Emotions are closely associated with the body feelings. Okay. What else could you say? Is that all? Nazla, can you hear me? Yes, sir. All right, so why is silent? Okay, so how about, uh, how about I give this chance to Mariam? Can you just explain me about uh, James Lang theory? Okay, sir. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, this, uh, this theory suggests that the emotions are the result of physical changes in the body. Okay. Uh, it is a response to an emotional event such as like uh, racing heartbeats, uh, okay. sweating, like that. Uh, okay, so you all have understood it, right? So hope you all have written this also in your notebooks. Okay, so this, uh, this one should be written in your notebooks, okay? All right, so how about the two-factor theory? Imara, can you just explain me about uh, the two-factor theory? Uh, this two-factor theory was uh, proposed at, uh, that found by a famous psychologist named Stanley Skester. 
right. so he proposed that human emotion can he tell, he says that human emotion contains two factors of heart's name one is physical arousal and the okay. other one is the cognitive label Okay. So this theory uh, consists of three things. One is uh, the uh, stimulus and the arousal, cognitive label, and finally the emotion. Okay. So a cognitive label means it makes a person to think for what situation or reason he gets that emotion. All right. For an example, for an example, uh, a, a suddenly a bear is approaching. Okay. That is a stimulus. So the arousal okay. is sweating, running away or trembling. Okay. So cognitive label is that is one scary bear and I'm afraid of it. So finally, that person is understanding for what reason he is getting those emotion. So the emotion he gets there is fear. Very good. Exactly. Okay. Good. You all have understood. Very good. And uh, now. Uh, with regard to this two factor theory let me give this chance to uh somehow can you explain me uh, how about this two factor theory according to your understanding yes sir yeah in this two factor theory this theory explains that along with the physi physiological arousal, a person experiences a mental cognitive process, and this I'm process okay. is called appraisal. Okay. And in this theory, first a person experiences a physiological arousal in the mind, and then gradually he thinks. Uh, <laughs> what he thinks why that emotion is caused like cognitive process he thinks and then, the reason okay yeah okay so uh, after uh, the person identifying uh, the cognition okay the feeling of emotion comes that's all. Okay. Very good. Okay. So what you got to do is uh, now you all might have uh, written this description. Very good. Okay. But now what you have to do is you all have to uh, you all have to memorize and also memorizing is not the word that I can use. You have to understand it. Okay. So in simple terms, where I will uh, during the next class I will teach you a method. Uh, you are uh, how you use this mind mapping system okay so this mind mapping system is one of the most uh, most important thing that we i even i learned uh, a couple of years back only okay so this mind mapping system is really uh, helpful in any aspect of your education okay so i the next class i will utilize that particular time for you all to uh, teach, to teach you all about this mind mapping system that means psychology is a subject we are not for example if you take history okay history is a subject where you have to memorize right so but when it when it comes to psychology science related subjects you should not memorize except apart from the theories and the laws and everything you have to memorize but apart from that what you have to do is you have to understand okay so psychology science related subjects are nothing to memorize so you have to understand so you have to you have to differentiate these two words as what is memorizing and what is understanding okay so there are two different types of people sorry there are three different types of people where we come across okay where i have seen students okay so there is a group of students who actually who memorize like parrots they 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 take the textbook and they whatever the textbook you give they keep on memorizing and they will dictate it as it is okay but there is another group of students who does not do anything. They don't memorize or they don't understand. Okay. But there is another group of students. They are able to answer. Right. But it is not the exact way it is mentioned in the textbook. But they are giving the idea. Okay. So the idea is the one which is most important. So even you have to go into that category. Right. Where you can understand a particular uh, subject and you should be able to elaborate it in your own words that is how you learn okay so anyone can take a book and memorize but not everyone can understand so i want my students to come into that category the students who can understand 
not the students who can only memorize there are things that you have to memorize there are laws there are theories that you have to memorize leave that apart okay those are small things i will teach you how to memorize those things also okay but apart from that when it comes to the subject right you have to be able to i mean like understand and explain it in your own words so then you don't need this huge heaps of books and studies and everything so only thing you know you know the subject okay then you should be able to explain it in your own words so that is your uniqueness so you have to develop a uniqueness of explanation right so now up, uh, now up to now let me op uh, let me open up the syllabus a little yeah so now yesterday we studied about emotions and what about motivation can someone tell me uh, i want to ask this question to mariam rusta can you tell me mariam what is motivation what is motivation like um, persuasion like what can you explain in your own words okay sir yeah go ahead mariam are you there it is the process of guiding okay guiding on what like what is the reason of motivation mm. okay Okay, then shall we put forward that question to Nazla? What is motivation? Nazla, are you there? Motivation is guiding someone to do something. Someone to do something. What do you mean by that? explain in detail i need a solid explanation asla come on asla you have to talk you have to like there should be some changes right okay come come don't fear about anything just openly talk because uh, it's all the same batch okay Imara can you tell me the answer what is motivation motivation is something like influencing a person to do something uh, like it gives a strong a strong feeling to do something like uh, for example if a person is weak in studies so someone if they motivate okay so they might think uh, they might think that they can they can do that so finally they starts following it that uh, studying yes. they will study well so Yes, actually, we can call it in common words. We can call motivation as a kickstart. Okay, motivation could be as a kickstart. So just don't memorize it. You understand it. Okay, now I'll explain you. Now, motivation is something where people like you now. It's some you now. There is a statement, right? There is a statement uh, by a famous personality. I can't remember his name. Okay, it is. Uh, they say that motivation is like bathing okay what do you mean by that motivation is like bathing what do you mean by that mariam can you tell me what is more they say that motivation is like bathing what does that mean somehow give me the answer that is statement like, is like bathing it purifies or clears someone's mind mm, that's also correct but uh, some more explanation like motivation
Imara, do you know the answer? Makes one. Yeah, go ahead, Samar. Like. Uh, mm, a new character or something like that. A new self, like. Okay, that will be the result of motivation. Okay, end result. Actually, uh, no, motivation is like bathing in the sense what people think in common world is that they think that one time if you watch a motivational video or else if you read a motivational book, right, that will be throughout, it will carry, uh, it will make you a successful person. Actually, that is a wrong uh, judgment because motivation is like bathing in the sense, do you bathe only one time for the whole entire life? No. no sir exactly so that means on and off like on a daily basis what do you do you have a wash you bathe so it's something like that motivation is something where you have to have it on a daily basis so many people what they do is they they rely on motivation right on other people right that means from from the external environment they rely for motivation but what i tell all my students is that you have to rely on self-motivation. You have to have a goal to understand. You have to have some sort of a factor which can motivate you on a daily basis. So that factor, it's it's unique to each and, each and every one of us. Okay. So I, I have a lot of uh, things to, I mean, like to explain to you all with regard to this motivation, because that is the one which keeps your goal. Understand. So now in this point, motivation is a very big subject. Okay, it's a very big subject where you cannot explain just within uh, one or two hours. Okay, so according to Google, right, motivation is the process that initiates, guides, and maintains goal oriented behaviors. So, in order to, uh, I mean, like if you need any motivation, actually, you have to have a particular goal. Without a goal, without an ambition, right? Without a target, right? You don't need a motivation because there, you might have seen people, they just uh, eat, drink and sleep. That is their uh, main motto, eat, drink and sleep. So that is all they do for a day. So there are people in uh, of that caliber also, but goal oriented people, right? If they are goal oriented people, what they do is they have a reason, right? So reason for motivation. So what do they do? they self-motivate themselves and they keep going, okay? So motivation is, no, it's, it's, it's different from one another, okay? So now, Imara's goal will be different from Mariam's and Mariam's will be different from Nazla's. Nazla's would be different from Sama. So it's like that. So uh, y'all cannot combine each and every person's goal. So, and so as your motivation. So if your goal is different, your motivation also will be different so you have to have a self-oriented self-motivation uh throughout your day so it's like if you say that motivation is just like bathing means you have to understand that motivation should occur on a daily basis so i have seen uh, people like where they read books and they say sir i have read books but i could not nothing is changing in my life okay i read this book i watched this video i watched this so but no use actually so when you watch a video it just go to your temporary mind okay so where you just for that moment you will remember okay i feel motivated okay but it should go to your subconscious mind so the deep inner mind so when it goes to your deep inner mind but right, that is the place where it starts to change so watching a video or reading a book is not the only thing that you will need to do, you'll have to take action. If actions are not taken, there is no use of watching those videos or reading those books. And you all have selected psychology, which is one of my favorite subjects, actually. So psychology is something I, why I chose psychology was because it is life. So we have to live in the reality. So we should know how to understand a particular person, right? how to communicate with a particular person, how to deal during problem, because this life, but right, this life is temporary and this life is full of problems. You cannot say that, okay, there is a person in this world who is 100% happy, right? There is no person in this world who is 100% happy, okay? So that is psychology. We have to understand, okay, that everything, right? Every person, every individual has his or her own problems, right? Own stressors, 
right? Own sadnesses, own happiness. So we should be able to understand. So that is the main reason for studying psychology, right? Psychology, psych, psycho means mind. Logy means study, so study of a mind. So that is what we are doing here. So always remember, students, now when you are a student of psychology, so you have to understand that. Now, this is not the point that you all are going to stop. So you always be furthering your studies. So when you all are furthering your studies, it gets deeper and deeper and it gets tougher and tougher. So even you won't believe, still they have not completed studying about the mind. So it's a very vast syllabus. It's a very vast section. So you should be, at this moment, you should be able to mold your mind, right? mold your abilities, right? talents, in order to achieve that particular goal. What is your goal? To further your studies in psychology. So when, it, when you go to the next level and thereafter, what happens is this syllabus is very, very tough. Now it's just the basic. We are just brushing you up for the next level. So you have to understand, okay, this effort which you are putting here should be doubled and sometimes it can be multiplied 10 times for the next level, okay? Because the syllabus is vast, okay? The amount of knowledge that you have to gain is vast, okay? So all these things are there. So when you are studying these things or when you're understanding this subject, always remember from, from the moment you're studying this subject, I mean like even if you have not changed right at the moment, you should be able to look at another person in a psychological perspective, right? Not just as a human being. You just understand, okay, by looking at a person, you should be able to understand, okay, this person is a person like this. Even you don't know the reason, but you just like to try, to try to understand that person's mentality. Then gradually, according to the law of attraction, right? There is a law of attraction. So how many of you all know that, know about this law of attraction? How many of you all know? Have you all heard about it? Has anyone heard about law of attraction? Imara, have you heard about law of attraction? No, sir. Mariam, have you heard about law of attraction? No, sir. No. All right. Nazla, have you heard about law of attraction? No, sir. Okay. So actually, what happened to Samha? She, she's missing. All right. So the law of attraction is, uh, it is designed by nature. Okay. So, you know, it is you now around us, there is, a, there is an energy source. Okay. Everything around us is energy. Remember that. So, what you do is now, according to the law of attraction, what you give is what you get. What you give is what you get. So always remember, you attract what you are. So if you are a good person, you attract goodness. Okay, if you are a bad person, you always will attract bad energy. Okay, so energy, you have to, you, are, you all should definitely believe in this energy. Because energy is the thing which creates, now there are a lot of researchers done, right, to prove this law of attraction and it is 100%, it is correct and it is applicable to each one of our lives. That is why many scholars, what they do, they, they, they advise us for meditation, right, and meditation means what, where you focus on a particular energy, right, positive energy, right, so where you focus, improve your focus. All right, so that is about the law of attraction, right? I will share with you in the future videos with regard to this, all right? So the next uh, I would like to, yeah, the next I would like to ask Imara. Imara, now up to now, you, all have, you have studied about the introduction to psychology and you have studied about, uh, I mean, history of psychology, okay? And you have studied motivation emotion and previous several lessons so what do you feel about this subject how do you feel i got to know some new things uh, by studying all these things yes okay so what are the changes that you could see in your life what were the changes that you could observe
do you all have any questions with regard to this because uh, after this right after this session uh, the next sessions would be right the next session uh, would be with regard to questions and answers only okay so whatever the questions now i am going to give you all a small task right now okay so this is also a particular method on psychology where you can learn as i told you all earlier that uh, photos or images goes faster to your mind than words okay so now i am going to give you a small task so from here onwards it will be question and answers that we are going to discuss okay so now i am going to uh, uh, do a thing like this so you all have to take your notebooks okay you all have to take your notebooks and the unit 1 what was the unit 1 that we studied introduction and the historical development of general psychology and its school that means introduction to psychology okay and uh, we studied about introduction to applied psychology okay we studied about introduction to applied psychology can all of you see the screen yes sir all right so then we studied about the brief uh, study of biological foundations of human behavior element of child development and psychology personality psychology theories cognitive psychology okay so now with regard to this there is a few more like creativity memory and forgetting thinking intelligence that one i didn't still do right so stress and stress management also we have completed so now i'll be uh, dividing you all into groups okay i will be dividing you all into two groups okay so you all have to uh this is a group work okay you all will be uh, divided into two groups and you all will be completing the task okay so i will tell you what the task is after i divide you all and i will be opening up uh, you all into two different whatsapp groups okay two different whatsapp groups will be open uh, so and you all have to keep it uh, i mean you all have to keep it very uh, confidential that means group a and group b should not 